Jersey. He's still going to drive over. low-key pretty nervous about the zoom listing appointment welcome back to my channel so today you guys can tell I am dressed up I am heading to the office right now do some follow-up calls and the work I need to be doing with my current deals and then in the afternoon I have a collaboration I'll show you guys what a $500,000 flip looks like so I'll see you guys when I get to the office Wendy did you call that person did you call the guy oh uh, not yet he's pretty good he's like yeah. uh, he watches my YouTube video so he wants to buy duplex okay. I told him to buy the bigger size duplex, so it starts to look like two plus two or two plus three. He has about 300K okay. in cash, so I told him it might be a little, like, not enough. So he can jump up to like okay. 350. But send him in oh, that okay. area, because I already kind of recommend him, and then he's okay with that area. Okay. You can also cool. send him something that's like 200, 250, just to see if he likes it. He lives in Jersey, okay. so for him to drive over here, it's like, an hour and 30 minutes it's not that far um he's really nice okay. he has a restaurant so just give him a call okay okay cool yeah i'll call him right now okay Alrighty. let me know how it yeah. goes all right okay 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 bye-bye okay. 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 using your touchstone phone please enter your pin number your pin number can be found in the you are now logged into the prospecting right now. I just finished up all the follow-up calls that I need to do. I actually set up a listing appointment, so I was looking at the comps and get everything prepared. Um, it's about one o'clock. So I'm gonna edit my video a little bit and upload on my channel, and I'll finish up cold calling. Then I gotta go pick up Jay. We're gonna head to the new flip and film another video. Um, a few more hours on the phone prospecting for new clients right now what i'm trying to do is spending those time to kind of film more content and then create and make connections with like local investors and network a little bit and then also spend time to train my agent on my team oh my god me too yeah title like as far as what it's gonna be needed but okay from what i know i think right now um, since the real estate is passing down to another family member, right? He's the one that get, is getting it. Yeah. So he will need to go to the city to get a register of will to go through the whole probate procedure. Yeah, that's what he's, that, he started that, I believe. Soon. Alrighty, bye-bye. Bye-bye. So I just had a phone call with my past client referral and I mean it's just this time of year I feel like I'm getting so much more like past client which I really appreciate work as far as like my um, emails catch up on emails and then I'll probably do a little bit editing I have to get the comps together for my zoom meeting at 6 30 because i have a listing appointment and then tomorrow i have another listing appointment i'm actually low-key pretty nervous about the zoom listing appointment because i've never done it before and i just feel it's weird it's like you open the computer and like hi i'm your agent to help you sell your house oh my god but um anyways i'll keep you guys updated
Hey guys, so here's Chris and he is a investor slash real estate agent. We actually know each other on Facebook for a long, long time and finally, you know, I asked him if I could like, film his new flip and then he said yes. But I just figured since you guys are watching my video for a lot of new real estate agent tips, I figured I can, you know, ask Chris about some tips that he would give for real estate agent who want to kind of transition into being a real estate investor. Transition from an agent to investor. Yeah. Uh, so the best tip is to, uh, one, start looking at properties through the lens of an investor instead of a realtor looking to Impress sell a client on it. Exactly, yeah, 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 yeah. This house. Yeah. Exactly, yeah, yeah. See if you can qualify for, say, a hard money loan. If you can get a mortgage, you can probably get a hard money loan. Say a loan that specifically lends to investors to buy and fix up properties, uh, sell or keep for rentals. Uh, so get qualified for a hard, hard money loan, get familiar with the uh, things like after repair value, renovation costs, uh, rental numbers and stuff like that. And uh, mm -hmm. yeah, just start. Just start to do it. Cause being an exactly. investor start is, deal. is yeah. more of uh, putting boots on the ground. You gotta kind of get down dirty. And yeah. then also, I would suggest you to go to every inspection that you can or just bring a contractor. Yep, like yep when that's a good idea. When yeah. they're doing your work, what I do right now is when I go see properties, I don't do inspection. I just buy it as is and I'll bring my contractor with me. Mm -hmm. So every time he will walk me through, he's like, look at this, this might look like, it might have termite. And then look mm -hmm. at that. If we fix this whole kitchen, we, we need like at least, you know, plus labor and material like 10,000. Right. For this, you know, bathroom, it's like another 5K. So if you learn all that kind of information, it will help you pricing comps also. You Absolutely. know, being an investor and then as a listing agent, when you get a listing, you know exactly how, how to price the home accurately. Absolutely, yeah. One of the biggest barriers to new investors is they don't know what costs are. Like, you know, they don't know if it's gonna cost they will be very. 60,000 They will be house. very. Uh, what's that word? Like not conservative. They probably think, oh yeah, this is thirty thousand. That's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And then once they, <laughs> once they actually start the work, maybe they need to pull permit, and they didn't know. Exactly. And then yeah, the, yeah, yeah. the whole work was just being paused for like three months, and then they took out private money, and then there's interest on top of it. Mm -hmm. So these are the things that you need to consider being mm -hmm. an investor. You know, later down the road. I mean, I still have so much to learn because I'm getting more involved with real estate investing, and I absolutely love it. I told you guys like every six months, I want to jump into like a different criteria and different like challenge for myself. So I'm really excited today. I get to learn a lot from Chris and I hope you guys do it too. Thank you so much for watching. I think I'll just end the video right here and be sure to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next one.